what to do when your opponent grabs both lapels and drops his butt down and it's hard to do anything so today we'll analyze situation what happens all the time with beginners what can we do here in this position it's super defense often this question is asked i never paid attention that's important but no it's not understood let's analyze channel sila partera everyday questions are like a river flowing i try to answer uh, verbally in video or type so guy asked what to do when opponent gets to lapels drops low and it's hard to do anything what can we do here in this position it's super defense nothing to do that's what people think but actually in actually in adult wrestling advanced people you won't see that because frontal stance is hard to wrestle at it looks like he's stable but if i have grips i can do over the head throw like this kitty kitty move but if i do and he drops to his knees there is a good feint in these positions he's hard i want to rock him up and down I, I can show move and then snap him down but you have to show it just a little faint with your feet and pull him down now it's easier to get the belt that's if you beginner but every coach teaches you how to stand left or right it's hard to throw from frontal stance i have my course tactics of stand-up wrestling for three hours i tell you how to stand in one stance how to break grips how to move yeah So, if I'm ready, you see, one arm is relaxed because I'm sideways, and the other one is stanced. So he'll be falling forward. So, in these positions, if you're in a good stance, you can break the grip and re grab, get your own grip. So, if somebody holds you like that, that's because you're in frontal stance. If you st stand sideways, it's not relevant anymore. You can break both grips like this too. So guys, do not do like this. Choose a stance. Don't break. Even if you can break, you can rotate, cannot break. He can throw you. So always one side and create tension. If I pull and move at one moment, his arm will get tired and break. If it doesn't work this way, go other way, doesn't work, doesn't work. And some way you'll get thrown if you switch stance. So choose a stance and load up one arm. If I break one and the other, opponent will have this one flex, then flex the other one and the other one relaxes. So you switch workloads and he just relaxes or switches his attention to other arm. So only one arm, pay attention to one arm, so he cannot relax. Break like this, or with a pulling your own lapel, or just shoulder. Very important here. I was laughing in the beginning, why people ask me. Because people stand in the frontal stance. Do not be in a frontal stance, always sideways. Easier to move back and forth. On one video I told you, hold your leg between his always win inside position no matter where he goes my arm between his it, it, he can throw you if you don't do that so leg between hope that guy who was asking me got helped uh, i hope he knows what to do now what to break and how to stand in the stance and you'll ask better questions next time how 
to off balance and set him up for your favorite throw. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.